have you ever been in a TV show? Well, join me as we go back to the 90s. Hey, I'm Leo and this is the Sound Museum. Something a bit different for this video. I was going through some old videotapes the other day. These are videotapes right here these big block things from the 80s and 90s and i came across this tv pilot i did back in 1994 so i thought i'll share it with you now a bit of a background before we get into the video itself in 1990 i started my first part-time job at kmart i was a checkout chick we all started on checkouts, did the checkouts and the trolleys. I remember I was working Wednesday nights and Saturday and Sunday. And back in those days, the pay was really bad. Guess what my first pay rate was? In your mind, just think about it. 1990, a long time ago, my first pay rate at Kmart per hour was $3.68. I'm not joking. <laughs> oh my goodness, back then it was a lot of money. You know, it was my first job and I was still at school, but it was really, really low pay. But because I was working Wednesday nights, we got a 30% loading per hour. And I was working on Saturday and that was time and a half and double time on Sunday. But I still love my job at Kmart, earning a bit of extra money on the side as well, still at school. But when I left school, I was still doing my part-time hours, but I picked up some more hours in children's wear. I know. And I think for a stage, I was in the gardening department as well. At the time of filming the pilot, I was working in the children's wear department. Now, how this all came about was my late dad used to work at Television New Zealand and he was there for about over 25 years. So one of his friends who's a producer contacted him and said, I'm doing this TV pilot. Would your son like to be involved? And back in those days, I was known by my full name, which is Leonard, but now everyone calls me Leo. But back in those days, it was Leonard. And so he asked me and I said, yeah, sure, I would love to do that. So I remember it was a Wednesday afternoon and the film crew and the producer, George Andrews, who was dad's friend, I uh, came into Kmart and we basically filmed stuff. So we filmed um, me coming into work and we did that like four or five times. Me going back downstairs and back up again and stuff. Um, and then we did some filming in children's wear and we did some filming on the checkouts. So it was all quite fun and quite exciting. It took a few hours and came out okay to everything, so it was all good. It came on TV as a pilot, and the TV show was called Pathways, and it had this sort of mini drama going through it as well, with like real actors living in a share house, trying to find work, that type of thing. Anyway, a couple of the actors who were part of that mini drama within the show were actors Carl Urban, who you may know was part of Star Trek, and Robbie Magaseva, who you may know best from Wentworth. They were both involved with Pathways back in 1994. So I was in pretty good company back in those days. <laughs> well, sort of. Anyway, let's take a look at that pilot episode of me at Kmart. Leonard Stubbing's job started part-time, and it's still that way. I was working in um, school C year, my most important year. Um, I found an application form here. Um, I got an interview, I came in, and I got the job. When I got the job, I was so pleased to get it. Um, I've got no idea how pleased I was. Leonard was also pleased he attended a link retailing course while he was still at Rutherford High. 
He enjoyed it so much he decided to accept an offer for what he hoped would be extended hours after he left school from the sixth form. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. Hello. Check them all out. I started on cheque counts. Um, I got about between 10 and 15 hours a week, so all the late nights I used to work. Things haven't worked out as planned. Leonard's hours have been reduced to between 3 p.m. and 6 every day, the same as when he was still at school. And that's for three pairs, it's mm -hmm. $10.98. Despite the disappointments, he knows that retailing is the pathway he wants to follow. Oh, that'd be good. It improved my self-confidence a heck of a lot. Um, it's excellent school to have, you know, to be able to deal with the public and all that. It's, that's, I can't stress how important that is in any job. Public relations and dealing with other people is very important. That's a free pack. So you're I did um, try to get full-time work here. It's not offering. I've, I've asked and I've asked and I've asked, but there's no full-time work here, which is, is a shame because I'd love to work here full-time. The reduced hours offer at least one compensation. They leave Leonard plenty of time to chase full-time work. I look in the paper every morning for a job. I write letters to off to employers. I've written um, some letters off to Hugh Wright's, Helen Steen's men's hair stores. I've applied for um, a job in London Bookshop. I didn't get it. I also applied for a job in a butcher, <laughs> which isn't really my scene, but I needed work, so, and the experience of going through an interview is, is quite important too. Leonard and Kmart. Leonard's shown, uh, to me anyway, I, I would employ, if I was in that, that position of employing in that um, uh, outlet, I would actually employ him full time because he's shown, he's shown a, an attitude and, and that's really what counts. He's got an attitude that he wants to work for that particular company. Um, if he's not good enough to employ full time, then why employ him part time? Surely they must have employed someone in the meantime um, on a full time basis. Why not? Why not him? He's he's expressed an interest. You know? So that frustrates me as an employer. That sort of attitude frustrates me as well. As far as your your system goes, is Leonard doing the right thing? To, he obviously wants to work in retail. Is that is that the right way to go about it, to start there part time? I think that's an excellent way to start. And I was about to. Um disagree slightly with Gavin in saying the world of work is changing. The concept of full employment for everybody is, uh, is old think. The world of work is moving very much towards young people and adults having lots of different jobs and lots of part-time jobs. So full employment, one job for everybody is the old world. The new world is lots of part-time work, maybe stitching things together. I think Leonard's made an excellent start. It would be great to see him get full-time employment in retail, but it might not be a reality. He's still doing the right thing. Oh my goodness. Uh, cringe worthy watching that back anyway i hope you got a chuckle out of that um but yeah that was my appearance in pathways uh thanks to tv nz back in 1994 but that wasn't the end because a few weeks later this happened i've got a full-time job nine to six monday to friday i've done it Good on you, Leonard. We knew you'd get there. Oh, another cringe moment. <laughs> but yeah, I got a full-time job and I was so pleased and I was actually working in the stationery department. And back in those days, the stationery department was connected with books and magazines and confectionery. So I had two co-workers, Dorothy in books and magazines and Sherry, in confectionery and we got on so well had so much fun i remember reading all the magazines when they came in you know, like smash hits and tv hits back in those days helping out with the confectionery or the chocolates and sweets and chips and stuff oh it was just heaven here's a picture of me and the rep from nestle i think it was easter time but yeah that's me there but i guess my dream at the time was to work in the sound and vision department with all the CDs and videos and that type of thing. And my dreams came true. Uh, I began working in the music department, I think it was about 1996, I believe, or 95, somewhere around there. And oh, it was my dream job. I love music, so it was just 
perfect for me. All the new CDs were coming in, the videos. I remember Michael Jackson was releasing History, that big compilation that came out, and that was just huge. I remember the truck coming in early morning to deliver the stock and having to get it out on, on show before stores opened. So exciting stuff and Christmas was really busy and back in those days CDs sold by the truckload. I remember one year, I think it was 1997, we had the Titanic soundtrack, Celine Dion's album Let's Talk About Love, Mariah Carey's Butterfly and I think Tina Arena's new album. That year those albums sold by the truckload. We sold so many copies and I was the king of upselling back in those days. When someone was to buy the Celine Dion album, I would say to them, did you know on this Titanic soundtrack, the version of My Heart Will Go On is different. Do you want to buy that copy as well? Yes, please. So I got two sales. So yeah, um, such great times at Kmart. And my first job... I was there for about eight years. I left in April 1998 um, before going on my big OE to Europe for six months. But more on that in a future video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed going back to 1994 with me and reminiscing of my days at Kmart and my TV debut. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos.